All right. Well, hey, my name is Karen Zando, and I'm really excited to be able to greet you today because Northgate is my sending church when I entered the mission field. In the 1980s, I was teaching at the University of Pittsburgh and began to attend Northgate through the, uh, what was it called then, College and Career Group, and became a member and got quite involved in the church. And it was during that time God called me into missions with Campus Crusade for Christ at the time, now known as Crew. And so I'm back in town and just wanted to say a quick hello to everyone. So currently, I have a, a position where I do leadership development globally for the organization. So I help to develop uh, current and emerging leaders around the world. I do this through a lot of training, a lot of coaching, a lot of individual meeting with people. Pre-COVID, I did a lot of travel. During this COVID season, I have begun to do a lot through Zoom. So I um, still have those connections, still doing trainings. It's just a little different than it was before. My, um, what I call my hobby ministry, my direct ministry, is that I'm a chaplain for the local women's professional soccer team in Orlando. And this gives me an opportunity to, to keep my feet on the field and to work with young women, um, sharing the gospel and helping them grow in their faith. Yeah, so Florida is just my home base. It's where I have a home. Uh, much of the time I will be traveling around the world. Um, I was right before COVID, I was supposed to be in Bangladesh, Nepal, and India, and that had to be canceled. But just to give you an idea, I will go to Asia, I go to Europe and South America and Africa, wherever the job may take me. So though I live in Orlando, oftentimes I'm away from Orlando more than I'm in Orlando. So this past year has really been different. I was telling someone that, um, I've traveled from Australia to Africa in the same day this year because I could do it over the internet. So I live in Orlando, but that's not where my main ministry is. Well, I think right now praying is we have, that we would have wisdom as we re-engage globally as far as actual travel, as hopefully we're through the worst of the pandemic, though that remains to be seen, but just for wisdom as to know when and where um, we can begin doing that again. In the meantime, pray that God would continue to use the capabilities of the internet to allow us to meet with people, to do trainings, to coach people, to empower them with the skills they need to lead the ministries in their area. Because I, so much of what I do is for the nationals who then work with the people that are in their countries, in their cities. And so, a piece of what they're doing, God's allowed me and you as an extension, because you support me, to have an influence in that ministry wherever that's at. So pray that God would continue to, use, continue to use us in that way and to give us opportunities. Also pray for that direct ministry I have with the women's soccer team, that God would continue to give me favor, that he would raise up the finances I need to um, have that kind of side ministry, but most importantly that women would come to know Christ and they would grow in their faith. Um, through some of my interaction with them. Just, I would say thank you. This, as I said, this is my sending church. You have been so much a part of my growth and development, even as a, a young adult before I went on the mission field, and you've continued to be involved ever since as a supporter of my ministry, um, not just financially, but through your encouragement. So thank you so much for that, and I hope that in not the far distance future, I could be here in person to really meet and greet you uh, more formally. But in the meantime, thank you for everything you do for me.